Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. This is Old Car Auto Guy. Today we're putting our new welding techniques into play on Project Dale. So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be working away at getting the bottom of this right front fender patched up. As you can see, it's got a little bit of rust coming there. And of course, we pried open that rust hole to get out all the pine needles. So we've got the necessary trim out of the way. We're going to cut out a patch. Well, let's get to work. So same as we did before with the uh, cab corners and rocker panels, we're basically going to just cut out the parts that we need. Now, this panel that I picked up from LMC Truck has the contours of the fender. It's got the little lip at the bottom. And it also has the wraparound skin on this lip here so that once we get the fender fitted then you would just basically kind of tap that around hold it into place and then do your tack welds and whatnot but i'm going to try and get away with as little work as possible i'm going to show you what i'm thinking and well you'll have to follow along to see if it's going to work so as you can see this whole fender uh, patch panel is more or less designed to kind of slip over there and do its thing. This lip is solid. This edge here is solid and this edge over here is quite solid. Where it's bad is in the middle. So what I'm thinking about doing is basically coming over to this leading edge right here and cutting down that little bit of a body line and then kind of just coming over here and then down here like so and then cut across the bottom before it hits that lip that way I can cut out just exactly what I need from here then we'll put our new tack welding skills into play let's get started with making some straighter lines so we know where to cut and get the cutting done so this line here is gonna have to be freehand because it's not straight anyway so I'm gonna say the edge of that right about there and along here come across like so and try and get that as straight as possible I guess And of course, all this is going to be dependent on how rusty it is in behind there. If we have to go up further or go around the lip or down, we'll do that. Anyways, we've got our lines drawn. Let's get to cutting. So I think what we're going to have to do is kind of get in there maybe with a vacuum cleaner and get rid of some of that dust because every time I cut down this way, it's hitting the blade and pulling it back towards me. But I don't want to bend it and get that all out of shape. So. Let's see what we can do here. I think we got the worst of the crap taken out of there now. We can just go grab the air, give a little uh, toot, and get rid of the remainder of the dust that might be in there. So I'll grab the air. So as you can see, it's not too bad in there. Just a little bit of surface rust. I think we'll be able to take our rust off, spray it in, let it dry, and uh, not have any further issues with that. And now the plan will be to take the piece that we cut out, trace it onto our patch panel, and then we've got new metal to tack weld in place here. So let's get that traced out. So now what you're going to want to do is take, uh, take this piece that you cut out over to your grinder, grind all those burrs off it so it sits a little flatter against the panel that you're going to be cutting it. 
to match and make sure that you've got it in the right spot. And it's important that you get the contours right because if you take this over and try to weld it into the piece that you uh, just cut it out of, although it may tack into place and may fit, this or this little dip might not be in exactly the right spot. So Alright, so I think that's pretty much where I've got it. I'm going to take a piece of tape, I'm going to tape it down, and then I'm going to go make, take a few measurements and make sure that we've got it pretty much where we need it to be. Alright, so we took a few measurements from this side and this side, as well as down below and uh, over here. I think we've got this right in the spot that we want it to be. When I kind of press down on the edges there, uh, it seems to conform really well, especially with this curve right here. So we're going to take our scratch all and uh, we're just going to scratch out where our new cuts need to be. And there's our new patch panel that will replace this one here. Now before we can go and do any actual grinding and welding, we are going to take our rust off converter and we are going to spray it all up in here and that will neutralize any of the rust that's in there currently and when it dries by tomorrow we should have no problem coming back here and actually cleaning it up and start welding that patch panel right in. So I'm going to spray this down, we'll go over and we'll cut our new patch out and then we'll come back tomorrow and get ready to start welding this thing in. Okay, so we've got everything all clamped into the vise over here. We're going to start cutting out our template, keeping on the outside of the scratch. That way if we have to bring it in a little bit, we can always grind some off because if you cut it too narrow, well, we're going to be in the same situation of plugging holes like we did before and you can't stretch the metal out that far. Or at least I can't. I don't want to learn anything new right now. And just like that, there's our new patch panel. And there's our old one. And they're pretty darn close now. Down here I got a little wide and over here I got a little wide so we'll have to trim that up a bit but we'll take it to the grinder now and get rid of the sharp edges. All right let's go see if it fits. Okay so now that we've got that ready and we're just waiting for everything to dry up, we'll come back and it'll be tomorrow and we'll start getting that thing tacked into place. All right, so it's the next day, Sunday, and we've got our patch panel all cleaned up and ready to fit in place. So now we get to start trying out our new technique of tacking it into place and uh, hoping that it fits without having too many issues. So let's get to tacking. So we've got it all tacked into place. I forgot to hit the record button when I was doing it, but uh, we've got it all tacked into place. We do have a few gaps. we got one there, and this whole bottom seam is opened up a little bit, so we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with that. But everything else seems to fit pretty good, so we're just going to continue tacking and moving away from the heat and tacking and coming back and just moving all around. So let's play around. I think we've got it tacked in there pretty good. 
we do have a couple of spots, like I said, that we're going to have to fill. So there's a little hole right there. And i got to figure out what we're going to do it across that whole bottom seam. There's probably a good, I don't know, quarter inch gap. I don't know if I, when I cut it, if I was on the right side of the line or not. But nevertheless, that is something we're going to have to address. So once I get that figured out, I'll come back. Almost like we were professional here, boys. Kind of. Kind of. All right, so we've got that all tacked into place. Now we're going to take the grinder to it and just see how bad the gaps really are. Well, from what I can see, there's good and there's bad. Over here in this corner, I think it's really, really good because both the old and the new blend in together and you can hardly even see the welds. As you come across the top, it looks like the patch panel was raised up above the seam a little bit the whole way across and then down here along this side a very similar pattern. Now I haven't ground off the bottom yet but I just wanted to get a pretty good idea of how the tack welding issue was working compared to trying to do one long swipe uh, in uh, that's what I was doing before over here and I can honestly say that I'm I'm really 100% satisfied with that patch job. I'm going to finish off grinding down below and get all those that big stuff out of there and I know I'm going to have to do some more filling I just didn't want to get too much heat. So having said that I'm going to finish up grinding here and then I'm going to come back and close out this video. Okay guys I've only got about 4% left on this battery so we're going to make it quick. T-shirts, hoodies, all that jazz with old car auto guy focus on the windshield and even the new Dale truck t-shirts are available in the first link in the description box below. I hope you can go over there, check them out, make a purchase if you want. They're only 20 bucks Canadian. That's like 15 bucks American for a t-shirt. So go ahead, see what you like. Hopefully you'll find something that you do that helps fund projects like Project Dale the Truck here. So having said all that, January the 9th, get ready for it. Season three, the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, Grant Tommy's link, who is straight Six Fan, my co-host for the show, his link is the second one in the description box below. I hope you'll join us to talk cars as well as a new format to the Car Guy and Six Fan Show Season 3. As always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.